Pesci Go, and welcome to part six of this walkthrough of Mother 2 Deluxe. So for today's episode, we are clearly starting out with our new friend. Well, is he even technically our friend yet? We haven't actually met, but Jeff, the whiz kid Jeff. I did take the opportunity to level up to level six to streamline our path back to three. Balloon Monkey's all like, yeah. But yeah, considering that Jeff doesn't have an ATM card, we can't use Ness's money. There's a monkey at the entrance. Take the monkey. He's really noisy. If you can buy a pack of bubble gum, you can have the monkey for free. Otherwise, he'll cost you a buck. Do you want him? Uh, yes. Thanks, the monkey's yours. Oh, how generous. I wonder what she's gonna buy for a dollar. Gimme some gum. That wasn't very polite, monkey, but I'll forgive you. So now we have the bubble monkey in the party. You cannot actually progress in the game without the bubble monkey. So do be sure to... to obtain him. I mean, you're not gonna get very far if you don't. I'd also advise getting him before leveling up. I'm also gonna show this... I guess it's a shortcut. Uh, this way. Which you may not necessarily think you can take, but you can. You can stop in here and rest. You can have a little tea break. That's how you know it's it's across the pond because they're having a tea break. I hope he didn't forget the lard too. Well, let's fight this. We'll fight a runaway dog here, just cause. But Jeff starts off quite a bit stronger because of his gun that he has, his pop gun. Did the- did the balloon monkey just solo that runaway dog? I think he might have. Got another buttered- oh, I guess, yeah. Uh, we can get rid of the protractor. Yeah. Protractor has zero use, as far as I'm aware. Zero use. The ruler technically has a use. And I just like to keep his ruler. And I don't want your cookie anyway. So I will reject the cookie. Uh, yes. But there is one other enemy in this top area that I would like to show off. Hey, we're getting all these... These green swirls here. Saving us some time. They're being really generous with the drops. No, we have enough buttered bread rolls currently. There we go. It is this really gruff goat. Well, just a regular gruff goat. It's not a really gruff goat. That's not an enemy in Mother 2 Deluxe. But a regular gruff goat is. So we'll take about- Oh, the balloon monkey doing some work. These gruff goats can drop salt packets. Which can be helpful for condiments, but... Oddly enough, if you just eat a salt packet, it will heal you 10 HP. So for Jeff, it's actually not awful. I mean, they're worth good experience, so let's fight another one. And presuming that we don't run into any more enemies, which we shouldn't at this point, we will be good. Uh... I will... I will rest first. I, I do want to show you something. But I have 4 HP, so I don't want to do it just yet. Is this where we rest? I'm the cook for the Tassie Watching Club. How about some stew? I would love some stew. No, no, there's no need to pay me. Oh, that's good. I only have a dollar. You're a friend who I've never met before, Jeff. Head south. I am Paula. If you hear this message, go towards the south. Jeff, fix the broken spray can. If you want to stick around here to get the T-Rex bat or anything like that, which I didn't actually show off at the... Because at that drugstore, you can buy, like, weapons. You can buy a T-Rex bat or some sort of frying pan for Paula. You could stick around and do that, and if you sell the broken spray can as defense spray, you'll get that done much more quickly. But if you talk to this guy... I don't recommend talking to this guy, but if you talk to this guy... I wonder what Tassie thinks of Is it that guy? In any event, one of these Tassie watchers... Maybe I can't do it because it's the next day. 
Picture's taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. You're not going to get Jeff to say it either. I'm sorry. What a great photograph. But one of these uh, Tassi watchers, if you talk to them, they'll give you a cold. They'll sneeze on you and you'll get a cold. And I don't think there's any way to actually cure Jeff of a cold. So be mindful of that. I, I'm pretty sure it's that fella. But it must not be a thing once uh, the day... The night turns into day. Excuse me. So I guess we kind of lucked out here, but yeah, just bear that in mind. This guy, don't talk to him before you go to sleep. Give me some gum now. I'll take care of everything. I didn't actually realize that that guy wouldn't sneeze on you in the day. But it worked out. Yeah, because as far as I'm aware, there's no way for Jeff to cure the cold. He doesn't have healing alpha, and I don't think there's any cold remedies around. So you'll probably, probably die if that happens. But let us cross Lake Tass on the back of Tassie. It's a good thing this balloon monkey is friends with Tassie. Just blows a bubble onto Tassie and Tassie is like, Sure! I'll take you across this river with my derp face. Don't mind if I do. Well, we have this fairly... What's the word I'm looking for? Not energetic, but like... Hopeful... Music... It's a word I'm looking for, I can't find it. But we're on to bigger and brighter things. We're getting much further away from the... From the boarding house. Bye, Tassie, you are a huge help. We'll miss you. Tassie. Tassie. So let's progress further. Now you see there's a weird pencil-shaped statue in the way. There's also this... This cliff that's like... Waist high. That Jeff's like, I don't want to dirty my... My nice... School uniform. Welcome to my modest dungeon, Brick Road. So we're just gonna progress right on through. I should- I'll go ahead and show off enemies we haven't seen. This is a delinquent mouse. I'm not gonna show you him, but I will show you the mad duck. Mad duck blocked the way. The mad duck can also make it so you can't concentrate, but because Jeff doesn't have PP, that doesn't really matter. Oh no, you went from having zero PP to not being able to use your zero PP. Mad Duck pecked my eyes though, that hurts. Should maybe use a buttered bread roll. But I'm not overly worried about the treasures here right now. What do we get? A fresh egg. Uh, yes. Uh, that's more nutritious than the buttered bread roll. So we're gonna eat it. Never mind. <laughs> sure, we'll leave, we'll leave the egg behind, then there'll be a new duck. For later. Uh, I actually do want that insecticide spray. So let's eat this buttered bread roll. I'm actually... Never mind what I said, I'm gonna grab like all of these treasures. I'm not gonna grab that one, I'm pretty sure that's a croissant. I will grab the one... That's on screen, however. Here's a worthless protoplasm. Who is sizing up the situation and is now strange. Not really a big deal, this enemy. Never has been, never will be. I don't think they really do much in the way of damage. Like, I could skip this... This item of, I'm about to pick up and it wouldn't be a big deal. Because there's plenty of them around, but this is a broken iron. It turns into the slime generator and is actually a pretty useful item. Slime generator can freeze a row of enemies in place. And you could use that, you know, to get extra turns. Or, um, 
Or if you, like, freeze the entire enemies that you're fighting, if you choose to run away after, you run away all- 100% of the time. Watch for falling materials. Like the photograph guy, because he's a falling material. Pictures taken instantaneously, I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory, look at the camera, ready, say, fuzzy pickles! You're never gonna get me to say that, photo guy. Keep trying. But I- I will not. Jeff is now level 7, not an overly huge level up. I'm not gonna bother getting that. I forget what that is. But I know I want this other treasure. Hey, the worthless protoplasm dropped a cookie, let's eat it. Okay, so we will engage with this delinquent mouse. I'll even show you this battle, because Jeff has never fought one. Never, ever. See how smashing this battle winds up being. Although I don't necessarily recommend fighting this fight. It wasn't a big deal, we beat it in two turns. But the reason I say that is... Well anyways, let's grab this item, we received the stun gun. Upgraded weapon for Jeff. But the reason I say that is... Is once you pass through this dungeon... All the enemies go away. So there's like... If you just exit the dungeon, and come back in... You then have free reign to come all the way back and get all the treasures without any real issue. What even is this? No, this is the croissant. I forget what the other thing is, but it's like a bread roll. It's nothing important. But that was Brick Road's modest dungeon. Let's call Goss. Gauss? However you say that. I want to continue. Nice one. Please come back again. I will. I promise, Brick Road. Perhaps it was easy peasy. My name's Brick Road, the dungeon developer. I devoted my life to making dungeons. Well, by combining my skills and Dr. And Donuts' intelligence, I can become Dungeon Man, the first combination of human and dungeon in history. Let's meet again once I become Dungeon Man. Would you like to take a kip? I would love to take a kip. Normally when I'm playing this, I will grind Jeff until he can get... Until he can repair the super air gun. Or the broken air gun. I think it's the super air gun when you repair it in Mother 2 Deluxe. But I won't be doing that today, we'll just grind with Ness and Paula. We got some... Regular, reckless slugs. That Jeff can take out with one shot. Which is kind of overkill, shooting a slug with a gun. But hey, decent enough experience. That treasure's a hamburger, I'm not gonna bother grabbing it. But I won't bother going up here. Oh, let's show off this battle. Let's take out the delinquent mouse first. It has the higher potential for damage output. But the mushroom can make us feel strange. Well, what am I saying? I uh, will use a buttered bread roll. We're gonna have to use one in a minute anyways. There we go. We should be okay. And if we lose, we just go back. Oh, level 8. Nice. We just go back to where Brick Road is. Even if we didn't save at the phone, the game's like, no, no, you are you went past where Tassie was. You don't get to go back. Anyway, there's cheap bracelet. Let's equip that. So those mushrooms will do, I don't know, 17 damage instead of the damage they were doing. Let's eat. Do I want to eat another? How much do the bread rolls heal? I forget. 40. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait for this battle. Okay, we did use our, br our buttered bread roll, so I will go back and grab that hamburger. There, went back and grabbed that hamburger. See if we can get the jump on these slugs, we might not be able to. There we go. This present's a pencil rocket, I'm not gonna bother getting it right now. 
And let's use the balloon gum, because we need the balloon monkey. To put this rope down. I don't know why the rope's not down to begin with. But doesn't matter, we have the balloon monkey here to do that for us. Let's make our way up here, and if you notice, over here, notice how the Your Sanctuary boss isn't here? That's fishy, isn't it? Let's go in. <clears throat> and there's a treasure up there. What could that possibly be? Jeff is now level 10, and in this treasure chest, you get the Sky Pendant. Take a look at this. Sky Pendant. Must be equipped on your body. Gives 40% protection against fire, freeze, thunder, and flash attacks. And 15 defense. So let's equip that bad boy. There, now Jeff is, like, nearly invincible compared to these... for these enemies now. Let's see if we can show it off in this battle with the Wandering Mushrooms. Yeah, remember how much damage Jeff was taking from these things last time? Like, 20 damage? Now, one damage. Like, this may seem busted. It really isn't. But it is a good opportunity to grind here for a bit. Which, like I said, I am not going to this time around. I'm just gonna go straight on ahead. But yeah, this is extra room in here, hiding a, a sky pendant. Pretty cool. <laughs> Jeff's level 11. I haven't even really tried to grind here. Do I have any healing? No, but we'll be okay. If not, we'll just we'll go right back. But no anyways, normally when you go out here, it would lead you right out to the Stonehenge area. But now this whole dungeon's been adjusted, so... This area is here for later. So it's not just such a clear run to the sanctuary, boss. Oh yeah, I can... I can say things again. But now we are out of the dungeon. So... yes. Now she's my type. I think I'll ask her out on a date. Come back, Balloon Monkey. I thought you were one of the chosen ones. Well, at least he found... he found true love. So if you recall, there's these cave fellas uh, wandering around. Do not engage with them. They will kill you. 100%. They will kill you. Just do not bother right now. There is a very large iron oaser in the way. So don't waste your time with it. But yeah, do not worry about any of those those cave boys. They're now Bigfoot. You know, Bigfoot, Stonehenge, all that stuff. So let's talk to the Eneron. In only a few seconds, this machine will fully revitalize you, just like a good night's sleep. But you're still hungry. Go ahead and get this broken water pipe. Which I don't think I'll really be using. I'll be using other tools. But we'll grab it anyways. Mr. Brick Road, the dungeon maker, referred you, right? And not only that. What? Who? My son? I can't believe it. You're Jeff, my son. It's been maybe ten years since I last saw you. I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. Oh, those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? I would love a donut. Well, I was only offering. I'd also like a donut right about now. Have you already checked out Stonehenge? Yes. Well, at least I asked. Hmm, okay. By the way, why are you here? Oh, I see. A girl named Paula must have sensed I was here. Okay, I'll try to help you out. I'm trying to make a space tunnel that can connect two points in space and time. It's still incomplete. I'll let you use another invention I call the Skywalker. It's a little bit old, but it'll certainly help. When you're bored, always listen for the message that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The round machine over there is the Skywalker. What do you think? Isn't it neat? Get in. Let's get together again about ten years or so. Let's just make our way in the Skywalker contraption. I have half a mind to edit out this trip. I'm not 100% sure if I will or not. Let's lift off, and if I edit, I edit. If I don't, I don't. 
Away! <clears throat> but there's a few things I want to run around and grab. Beforehand. Before we even try to engage with this boss. We might not even be able to beat her right now. We might be a little un- Well, I'm sure we could. But we should probably be a bit higher of a level. I should double check, see what our party has before we do that. Because there is a teddy bear. There was a trash can up there. That we zoomed by. And there's a teddy bear in it. Which is helpful for the boss fight. I guess Jeff's is trying to see where that, psych that psychic message came from. It's interesting to me that Jeff can receive psychic messages, but he has, like, no PP. Boom! And Ness and Paula were just kind of sleeping over there. Because what else do you do while you're locked up? Man, oh man, did that ever scare me. The Skywalker. I guess it took a little damage while landing. Oh well. You don't have to explain a thing. I'm Jeff. I came here because you called me. I'm not very strong, really nearsighted, kinda shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. Hope you want me to be your friend, okay? Okay. Alright, let's get back to the journey then. If you say no, he's like, Really? Why'd you call me then? But then he's like, But thou must. Jeff joined you. It's impossible to fix, for the time being. The door is locked. So let's use that simple key machine that we got from Goss. So Paula has... a shield... Sigma, right? She doesn't. We should really have shield Sigma. I think we can get it for this fight. We'll do a bit of grinding. There's some stuff I want to show, too. Like, what is it, up here somewhere? I think it's the next one over. Yeah, regular bracelet. But we have too much stuff. But we're definitely going to want the regular bracelet for Jeff. Uh, what of this stuff... I mean, Paula doesn't really need the cookie. So you can give that to Jeff. And then, Jeff, you give Paula... I guess this insecticide spray. So free regular bracelet for Jeff. Get him nice and defensed up. There, now his defense is higher than Ness's at the moment. And what? 222. Two, two. Yeah, if we can get Jeff up another level, then rest. I'm pretty sure he can fix his air gun. Oh, another thing, too. Let's also call Escargo Express. Uh, we'll give him some stuff. Then we'll also take some stuff back. Because if you remember that broken machine from earlier, we definitely want Jeff to have that. But first, uh, I'd like a pickup. Do we have a pizza? I forget, yeah, we have one pizza. I should maybe get another. At least order one and then go about my business. Oh, I didn't show off the cute Tommy. Well, let's show off the cute Tommy then. I'm also gonna show off Shield Sigma, just for kicks. We're gonna be sleeping soon anyway. So there we go. There, right, works on everybody. Once we get a fourth party member, it's more efficient as far as PP is concerned. Yeah, because we fought the Smile and Sam, or the, what was it, the mischievous Sammy, not the cute Tommy. We don't have any- we don't even have Rock and B with Ness. I think we're all around just a low level. But we can fix that, we can do a little bit of grinding here. Maybe I'll duck out of this very episode and do like a quick grinding session, then fight the boss I was talking about. Cause I kinda wanna do that this episode. There, Jeff's level 12. I think we might head to the graveyard. 
At least till we have Rock and B, and I think we can get PSI Shield Sigma before long. Ness has turned his back to the Escargo Express, man. Uh, yes. You can have, for now, you can have the Pencil Eraser. And... Uh, backstage Pass, that should be plenty. No, that's good. That is correct. All right, and I don't want to get the teddy bear till I'm, till I'm ready there. But we also want to get the broken machine, so let's call Escargo Express back. Uh, delivery. Uh, yes, broken machine. Need anything else? Uh, no. No, that'll be good. That is correct. So we'll just wait around for this here broken machine. I'll wait around for the broken machine, I'll sleep and show you what it makes, and then I'm gonna grind a little bit. Then I'll be back. Uh, yes, I would love to. Let's give that broken machine to Jeff. Uh, oh, he can sell some of the stuff, too. Then we'll have even more space. I'll just, I'll duck in and edit that out real fast. It'll be so fast, they'll make your head spin. Watch this. There, we also bought a hard hat for Jeff. And I also opted to put Ness's yo-yo on Paula, just because, you know, it's not like it's taking up any more inventory, and she gets a little more offense. We might be more likely to instantly beat a boss. I'm not going to bother with that. What? What do you have again? Bomb. It might not be the worst idea to buy a bomb for Jeff, but we'll worry about that after. So let's now go to the inn. <clears throat> let's go in it. I'm going to fight these marionettes instead. I took them out quite handily. Uh, <clears throat> Alright. So let's have a sleep. Working through the night, Jeff fixed- Oh, he fixed the broken air gun first. Well, that's nice, but... Fixed the broken iron, that's fine. But it's a slime generator. But now he has two spaces, it goes into his tool kit. So Jeff's items do not get anywhere near as cluttered. In any case, I'm gonna grind a level or two, and I'll see you again very soon. Alright, so I opted to meet you back at the Hint Guy's place. This is where the Hint Guy lives. Because the teddy bear is right here. Which will make this boss fight a little less taxing. We didn't get any shield sigma or anything, so we're just not gonna worry about it. We'll also go ahead and have another sleep before we fight the next boss here. Avoid that fella. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a merry little sleep here. And we did also get the anti-PSI machine, which I would like to show off in this next boss fight, if we have a little bit of luck on our side. So you may notice there's a mysterious tent here now. So let's approach it from the side here. And not worry about these monsters. Ah! Gaorg! Is he trying to say his name's George? But here's the boogie tent, and I love how uncomfortably close this sprite is. So I'm gonna go ahead, and what am I gonna start out with? Uh, let's start out with uh, a shield sigma. But we're gonna get Paula to do thunder, because I'm pretty sure this boss has a psychic shield. At, uh, at the ready. So I'm gonna start spamming the anti-PSI machine. Because that ought to come in handy. I believe this monster will cast... some variety of flash? It's also good to get him crying for when he tries to bite you twice with his poisonous fangs. Yeah, flash. It's not a great way to start the battle, but it is what it is. I'm a that usually doesn't work first try. <clears throat> but we also have to worry about Ness being strange, so I I'm just gonna do Flash and hope he does it correctly. Do we have... I'm not gonna use a, 
cup of life noodles for that. Let's just go ahead and... Well, we do... We could cast offense up, but again, I don't want to do that just yet. I could try to do freeze to solidify him. I'm pretty sure fire does more damage, but let's start with a freeze. Also grabbed a couple of bombs. Let's just start throwing bombs at him. We do have this pencil rocket, which I may opt to use. I'm not sure yet. Ah, it didn't work. But it might not matter if he gets hit anyway. Don't be spitting fly honey all over me. It's gross. Um... Yeah, just keep spamming flash for now. I didn't even see how much damage the freeze did. Now let's throw another bomb. Well, we got the anti-psy to work immediately, so... What more can you want? Okay, well, we prevented him from putting another shield up, so that was worth it. But he can concentrate again. I'm not gonna worry about spamming psy so much right now. Because of that. Or should I? Because I don't think Jeff really does a ton of damage. Let's see. There, Ness is now crying. Oh, Paul is almost dead. I didn't even notice. Uh, definitely don't use any of that stuff. You have the, of course you have the refreshing herb. Let's just keep spamming flash. Uh, you're poisoned, not... Yeah, you just eat a buttered bread roll right now. Again, I didn't notice the damage that was dealt. Let's try another anti psi machine. Give it another try. Nausea prevents you from eating. Poison doesn't. There we go, finally. Okay, now we'll just have to get Paula to cast another lightning. There's no way this is gonna work twice. Yeah. Uh, but yes, I would like to continue spamming Flash for now, at least till he's crying. It'll get him to waste a turn, at least. Paula... Uh, get some offense up for Jeff. Even though he's crying. Well, that's the thing, he's crying, so like, I would... If he's only gonna do one damage, I may as well try to prevent... Right. I may as well try to get him to not... You know, try to get him to do something, rather than one damage. But Ness does have a pizza we can use, if need be. Is this the turn to really be using the pizza, though? I think if Ness just ate a boiled egg, that would be satisfactory. Get Paula to use Thunder again, and... Yeah, just keep sp uh, well, do an- do an attack, Jeff. I mean, on the plus side, we're already crying and stuff, so it, it doing flash to us isn't really a big deal. That did, what, 60 damage? That's worth continuing to do. I didn't even notice. Again. Ness, you just try to attack. I do another thunder. I don't think thunder did any damage. Okay, I definitely did that time. Definitely got through. Put another coating on. Jeff is now also poisoned. Do I have any Psy Caramels? I probably don't. Because I didn't go in the Mole Cave. Hmm. I mean, we can use the pizza. I won't worry about healing so much. The crying's a problem. We gotta at least... If we could get Jeff not to cry, he could at least get some damage dealt. dealt. We, we gotta get- we gotta start doing damage. I mean, I do have that Pencil Rocket 5 I could use. I like to hoard them, but... Right. 
Okay, it's just as well I didn't cast thunder, because one thunder will destroy a, a psi shield no matter how strong it gets. I'm gonna go ahead and healing Jeff again, and that's gonna be it for Ness's uh, magic. Paula's got a bomb, though. Uh, but she should really eat something. So you have a croissant. And Jeff, you shoot. Oh. Well, it is what it is. You do have a refreshing herb, so give that to Jeff. And you cast Thunder again. I really want to save that pencil rocket, though. I mean, another thing we could do is try to drain the Boogie Tent's PP. Because if it has no PP, it's going to be wasting turns. Okay, we gotta use that pizza. Right now. But I won't worry about that until... Okay, you actually offense up Jeff again. Because if Jeff's gonna be our, our damage dealer right now... We gotta have it to the max. Ness is still crying, so we can't afford to get him to attack. At least Jeff can now move. And Ness can use some healing items if he if he must. Is there anything I can get? Is there anything that's four? I, he's good for one more life up. That's it though. So I don't know. I guess try to attack for now. And freeze. Yeah, try to freeze. Because if he could miss a turn, that would be ideal. Right. Just keep casting thunder, because I, I will not remember. That's not good. Well, the thing is, too, if I use a couple life noodles on Jeff, it'll cure the poison and not his crying. So that's like a total, a complete waste. Could try praying. You never know. And again, I have that- I really don't want to use that pencil rocket. I should just be spamming thunder at this point. Not that it does an overabundance of damage, but... It's about as much damage as Paula's gonna do. Use some magnet. Start magneting. That might even be a better option at this point. Because that's a battle of attrition if he has no more PP. And then he can't put any more shields up, and then we can really spam the magic with Paula. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be making him feel strange. That teddy bear is doing pretty well, I gotta say. Better than... than typically. Being a little... Oh, we did it. We beat him anyways. Good. Deadly. We gained a level. I wasn't sure if we were gonna make it there. We were playing that one a little... I, I don't even know if, like, fast and loose is accurate for that. Like, it was just... It just kind of worked out for us. Just play defensively. We had enough healing items that it kept us afloat. Well, in any case, we get the fly honey. And now if we lose, it doesn't really matter. Because we'll just death warp back to the hotel. Now for the true boss fight. The zombie dog. And the no good fly. So let's try to freeze the zombie dog. I'm going to use the slime generator on this insect. Ooh, the teddy bear might use its... Might be of good use right now. No good fly, he's not moving. Uh, yeah, use the scup sandwich, Ness. And actually, you use thunder, and Jeff, shoot, shoot the zombie dog. 
Ness dies. I mean, let's try to run away. But couldn't. Such a waste of a teddy bear, trying to run away. Come on, Paula. Run. Okay, we're dead. But that's fine, like I said. Mortal damage to the teddy bear, that's just insult to injury. But doesn't matter, we beat the boogie tent. Did I remember to save? The reason I say that is... If you don't remember to save, it starts you back here. Which is a bit of an annoyance, but it's not a huge deal. Fortunately, we weren't inundated with... with monsters. Oh, phone call. This is Apple Kid. I just wanted to let you know that I finished a pretty unique invention. I'm not sure if it'll help you or not. It's a machine called Zombie Paper and can be used to trap zombies. Works kind of like flypaper. All you need to do is place the attractor on the floor of a tent or something. You've seen at least one tent around, right? Then the zombies get stuck to the paper when they move around inside the tent. You can catch a lot of zombies this way. In fact, I bet you could get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the area with this machine. Anyway, I just asked the mock pizza delivery man to deliver the zombie paper to you, Ness. You should get it pretty soon. Never actually seen a zombie, but if there really are any, zombie paper would be very useful. I'll be calling you if I come up with anything else. Click. So you just have to wander around a little bit. Just a, just a little bit. While delivering pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. He wanted to deliver this to someone named Ness who was wandering around Threek. No one else knows about this, right? Let's just pretend that you're Ness and I'll give this to you. Oh, hello, Ness. Just go along with me on this one, okay? I made the decision that you're Ness, no matter what. Ness got the zombie paper. That's right, Ness, wink wink. Done my duty and giving you Apple's thingamajig. Well, goodbye. So now what you want to do is go to this very tent. Doesn't really matter where you go, you can just stand right here. Let's look at the zombie paper. Apple Kid's invention lay the attractor out, and the next day many zombies may be stuck near it. Put that right on the ground. Then what you do is you go back to the hotel. You have to sleep for the night or else you can't progress. So we're gonna sleep right now and... I mean we're sorta of saving money, I just want to show you this cutscene. So all these zombies are like, ooh. Something smells delicious. Is that delicious human flesh? In that tent? And those zombies that are guarding the way have also now moved. Even that zombie dog. So now we can progress to the next area, but we're not going to do that just yet. So off screen, what I'm going to do is revive our friends and get them back up to snuff as well. So I'm just going to end the video here. So thank you very much for joining for this edition of Mother 2 Deluxe. Do tune in tomorrow for the next episode where we will fight one more boss and we'll meet some very interesting characters. So uh, until then...